In this section of the course, we'll be covering the common reversal patterns for trading. For here are a few common reversal patterns for trading binary options. The first is the double top. How does this work? When you notice the market was in an uptrend for a while, came back to support, then went back up, then came back to the same support. So once it reaches the same support, it can either go up or it can go down. But if you notice it goes down, you want to trade down along with the direction of its movement. Now let's move on to the second. We have the bearish head and shoulder. What do we mean by bearish head and shoulder? You notice these two points right here. These are the shoulders and this is the head. How does this work? You notice an upward movement in the direction of the trend. And you see coming back to support, then making a higher, new higher high, then coming back to support, then making the same high as the previous high. So this is what is called a bearish head and shoulders. <clears throat> Sorry. And it also works downwards. So you can, if you see this pattern upside down, it's still the same thing. So it works for the bearish double top also. It's still the same thing if it's upside down. So now let's move to the bearish rising edge. Sorry for this. Let me just clear it out. So, let's, yeah. so how does the bearish rising edge work? Basically, what is how this works is when you have a trend and you make no trend higher highs and higher lows, the market continues to close in. So it continues to close in till it reaches like a parallel, almost parallel, almost point eating each other. So when you notice it's close, getting closer and getting closer, at one point it's gonna move out of that move closing. So once it moves out, that's a moment of trading. So once you notice the breakout in the trend, you wanna follow the direction of the breakout. So make sure to follow the direction of the breakout only if you come across candlestick patterns. If you come across candlestick confirmation patterns, you can follow the breakout. This also happens for the downside. If you see something like this upside down, it's still the same thing. So now let's move on to the bearish expanding triangle. You can see this one was getting smaller. So now let's move to the next one, which is getting bigger. <clears throat> so we can see from this point, the trend started. We can see the trend started at this point and began to make higher highs, higher highs and higher highs. Also higher lows, higher lows and higher lows. So you can see this V that was happening here is the opposite. So it's the opposite of the bearish rising wedge. So once you notice a breakout, it follow the direction of the breakout. Basically what all this is about is following the direction of the breakout. So now let's move to the third one. The bearish triple top. So how does this work? The bearish triple top is just like the bearish double top. But you have three heads in the triangle. So you can see this is a support. Sorry, this is our support. This is our resistance. So it made a no, it hit the support and resistance three times, then broke out. So you want to wait for confirmations. In most of these situations, when the market breaks out, something like this, when it breaks out of this, there's a high probability that the market is going to go back up to this point before coming back down. So you want to wait for it to break out and go back to this point. So once it reaches this point, this is where you want to trade downwards. Same goes for all of these other reversal patterns. It goes out, comes back here, retests. So at this retest is where you want to trade downwards. So you also want to make sure you have a candlestick reversal pattern before you trade. So you can also see this breaks out, retests, come back down. Breaks out, retests, come back down. That's what happens for all of them. So let's move on to the next section.